is Jessica, the furry family coach. In this video, we are going to be doing the tighter challenge. Now, you're probably wondering what the heck is a titer and why are we being challenged to do it? So a titer test is a blood test that your veterinarian does on your dog or cat that measures the level of antibodies for specific diseases in your animal's blood. And the reason that that is important is so that we don't over vaccinate our pets. You know, a six pound dog and a 60 pound dog can receive the exact same dosage in a vaccine. That doesn't make sense, now does it? These vaccines have been shown to contain loads of heavy metals. They're not good for our pets. In both dogs and cats, many vaccinations are known to commonly cause fibrosarcoma cancers in our pets. My husband and I actually had a chihuahua named Gracie who developed a fibrosarcoma from a rabies vaccination. So this is something that really hits close to home for me. So the answer is to titer our pets. Now, what is the titer challenge exactly? We're gonna be calling our veterinarian and asking them if they titer their pets and how much it costs. Hey Google, call Scripps Ranch Veterinary Hospital. Thank you for calling Scripps Ranch Veterinary Hospital. It's Gary, how can I help you? Hey, um, I'm wondering if you guys do titer testing. Um. Good question. I'll have to double check. Can I bring in a quick call? Sure. Thank you for holding. Uh, we do. Uh, for which vaccine were you uh, wanting to titer? So, yeah, I was just curious if you titered, and um, I guess probably the the most common one would be rabies. Do you have pricing for cat mm -hmm. and dog? Yeah, so it should be a little over $300 to titer. Okay, for either cat or dog? I'm sorry? For either cat or dog? Correct. Okay, thank you for your help. You're welcome, have a great day. You too. So now you know that at my veterinarian, it costs roughly $300 to get a titer test per animal. Now, yes, this seems a little bit high and there are some other options out there for you, including Dr. John Robb with Protect the Pets. He will send your blood sample off to Kansas State University and it is a much, much smaller fee. You just have to be able to get your veterinarian to draw the blood and process the blood exactly as the instructions state on the website. I'll provide a link for that. Now, what can you titer for? Virtually any disease you can have a titer test done for. The most common are rabies in both cats and dogs, and then there's a core vaccine um, in dogs that you can also have titer tests, which includes parvo, distemper, and adenovirus. Now again, you can have almost any disease titer tested. Anything that you can vaccinate for, just about, you can have titer tested for antibody immunities in the blood, and we highly suggest you do this. Now with the titer challenge, I'm going to challenge every single one of you that sees this video to call your vet and find out exactly how much a titer test costs if they titer. And a special thank you to the two crazy cat ladies who I first saw post the titer challenge. If you guys have any questions at all about a titer testing, please leave them below and I will answer them as best I can. Definitely check out the information that I'm putting in the description for Dr. John Robb in Protect the Pets and I will see you in the next video.